Hey there, and what's up to all my bariatric beauties and my bariatric buddies? This is Nick Nick coming at you with my, let's just say three and a half years post-op update because it's uh, August 29th today, and I will be three and a half years post-op come um, September 19th. So I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to do an update then, so I'll just put all this in here. Just so y'all know, I do have on clothes. I'm just really hot, really tired, and I'm nine months pregnant, so clothes are whatever I say they are at this particular point, but I am, I am covered. So, um, the last time I did a video, I was six months pregnant, and y'all saw my little mini bump. Well, I definitely have popped out since then. I'm still not uh, as big as people um, thought I was gonna be to be nine months pregnant or whatever, but um, I did definitely pick up some weight I really don't know what to say in this video, but I'm just going to go ahead and chomp down and tell y'all how much you gained. I don't know how much it weighed because I don't look at the scale anymore. It makes me sad. <laughs> but last time, excuse me, y'all, last time I did my video, I had only gained like six pounds. Mm, I'm sorry. I just ate some shrimp and, um, you know, I get the little tail piece in your mouth. But anyway, so okay, back to what I was talking about. So yeah, um, in my last video, I had only gained six pounds at six months, so that was about a pound, a half pound a month, three. I don't know, whatever I gained, it was a little bit. Well, here at nine months, I have actually put on seventeen pounds, and I put um those last eleven pounds in my eighth and ninth month. Um, so yeah, at this point, I'm basically um I'm ready. I'm, I'm due. I could give birth any day now. Um. So yeah, that wasn't too bad because the doctor initially um, said that 20 pounds was their goal for me because of the bariatric surgery and they wanted to know that I was eating and that I could um, properly nourish a child, which really did, my doctor per se wasn't worried about it. It was the whole medical team that was more or less um, had their panties in their booty about the situation. And I'm looking at them like, okay, well, surgery already been had three years ago, so ain't nothing we could really do about that. So, yeah, like I said, overall, I gained 17 pounds. I gained six pounds up to the six month. And then those last two months, um, these last two months is when I expanded, you know. So, um, it's a, it's, I'll say anytime you gain weight um, after losing weight, it can be a struggle mentally because in your head, you're like, oh, God, I do not want to gain weight. I'm not trying to get big all over again. But then you have to be like, you know what? No, this is a part of it. You're pregnant. When you're pregnant, you gain weight. You know, you gain baby, you gain fluid, you gain in all the other little uh, jiggly jelly bits that be up in the little chitlin bag up in there, you, you know. So I ain't tripping too tough. Um, as far as my size and clothing, um, when I first got pregnant, I was a size 12. I actually am still a size 12, but depending on the cut of things, then um, I'll go to a 14. But it's summertime, so I've basically been living in sundresses and spandex. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. On a brighter note, um, like I said, today is August 29th. This is my one-year uh, wedding anniversary. So, uh, me and hubby are definitely celebrating there. Um, so, that's a plus. Um, I was in the hospital last night, and I, I was supposed to go in and have some testing done because um, my baby technically is measuring a small, small for what they would want her to be. Um, as far as her weight and stuff, she was like in the 17th, well, she was in the 20th percentile last time I had an um, ultrasound, and they were estimating she was about five pounds. I think they really were trying to get her like six, close to seven. And of course, you know, when you have a ultrasound, your, um, your weight estimation can be off by a pound, up or down. But because I can't take in that many calories and stuff, they just assumed that it probably would be down. So anyway, um, that was in July when she was in the 20th. So yesterday when I got to the hospital, they did another growth scan and she was just sitting, you know, kind of barely at five pounds and some change again. So because I was, I was 39 weeks, they were saying that she was still um, technically small and actually she had went into the 17th percentile. So the plan was if she was still small to go ahead and do an induction because I only would have a week left of being pregnant because they don't let you go beyond so far um and to go ahead and get her out and the person that was on staff last night just would not do it and she was really irritating my entire soul like the heifer made my baby toe itch i don't like people playing with me now you all know i'm usually like a really keep it real person anybody that talks to me in real life or you know talks to me via facebook i'm 
pretty bubbly. I like to crack jokes and stuff like that. Let me be real. When I'm in pain, that ain't who you get. I'm not mean, but I'm not nice. And unfortunately, the poor little, I don't know what she was. If she was like a nurse tech or a nurse's aide or something. She was really trying to be helpful and talk to me and calm me down. And just be as sweet as she want to be. I wasn't feeling it. I just, when I'm hurting, I need people to shut up. That's my thing. Because when I'm in pain, I can't hear you. You have to wait until my pain stops. And then, you know, I was really frustrated because they wouldn't keep me and I was having contractions and my contractions were two and three minutes apart, which um, in the last couple of days, they've been getting closer and closer and closer. So I'm like, if they're two and three minutes apart, technically I should, um, I should be admitted. You know, she was like, well, your contractions are only lasting like 30 or 40 seconds. And she really wants them to last like 50 seconds to a minute. I'm like, you really finna send me home? For 20 seconds, 20, pinch me. I will put myself in some pain for 20 more seconds if you just need me to be hurting for 20 more seconds. So anyway, yeah, so I felt kind of bad about that because, like I said, when I'm in pain and I'm really uncomfortable, I, I really don't like people to talk to me, especially if you're not saying what I need to hear. So I may or may not have threatened to kick her. Maybe. Not admitting to nothing. I'm just saying I may or may not have. But no, I, I did. I threatened to kick her because she was irritating my soul. But I'm going to apologize to her because it wasn't her fault. She was just, you know, relaying what the heifer that didn't want to do her job was saying. So now I got to wait until Wednesday. Today is Monday. I got to wait till Wednesday to see my doctor. And that's not fun because, and I know this is like, y'all like, dang, is she going to talk about weight loss? Yeah, all it's got to do with this because this is all what's going on in my body. So we're going to talk about everything that's going on with me as long as we on this video. If you don't like it. Turn it off. But don't turn it off. Don't be mean to me. I'm a pregnant lady. You shouldn't. Don't diss pregnant people. So, but anyway, so that's what happened last night. So now I'm here at home and I've, I've definitely hit the stage in pregnancy where it's like, I'm miserable. I am. Like the whole pregnancy itself was fine. I didn't have a lot of problems. I mean, in the beginning, I had a problem where I really couldn't eat. I still kind of struggle with my eating because my restriction on my sleeve has, has never let up. Like some people say they lose their restriction over time. I never got to a point where I lost my restriction. If anything, my restriction felt tighter because as I ran out of room in my stomach, well, in my midsection, it just felt like everything was um, pressure on it. So I, I still drink a lot or I'll do a protein shake or I'll do something liquid because me and a lot of foods don't even really mesh. Like I just ate like four shrimp and I already feel like I'm not finna be hot the next couple of minutes. It's, it's not gonna probably stay down. So, um, what was I talking about? I got all off. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I got to wait till they want me to wait till Wednesday to see my doctor, to follow up with her, to do another, you know, cervical check and stuff. And I'm like, why, Jesus? Why? Like, I, why? Why? Why I got to wait? Why? I'm hurting. And it was really bad because, like, when they did the ultrasound, like, her head is so far down and she's in such a position where she's ready to come out, especially with the contractions being two and three minutes apart. That like, y'all probably don't want to hear this, but y'all know I just keep it real. I couldn't go to the bathroom. Still can't go. I can't sit down regularly on my behind or on my special region because it's so much pressure. So everything I'm doing, if I sit or I'm not standing, I have to like lean on the side, you know, kind of on lounge position. And you can't get anything done when you're in lounge position. And when I say I can go to the bathroom, I ain't talking about just number twos. Because, I mean, we know with, with bariatric surgery sometimes... You know, going to the bathroom is an issue. I'm saying that she was blocking everything to whereas I could not even pee. I couldn't pee. So I really thought they was going to keep me because I'm like, I got I got a tinkle and I can't go. I need to I need to go. Girl looked at me and was like, well, um, maybe you could rock back and forth or, you know, move that thing in a circle. I'm like, so I got to twerk on the toilet to make something happen. Like I've been like this for a week. So, yeah, I was really frustrated last night, but nonetheless, they sent me home, so didn't really have a choice. Came home, um, so now I'm just playing the waiting game, and that's what's going on with that as far as pregnancy. But overall, um, I really have not had any problems. You know, a lot of people say that when they um, get pregnant um, after bariatric surgery, they gain a whole bunch of weight. I don't really consider 17 pounds a bunch of weight, considering how much I've seen other people gain. I've heard people gaining 60 and 70 pounds, and, like, that's normal. I'm like, ooh, that's a whole adolescent individual you just put on there 
But overall, like my sleeve has still been working. I still have my restriction. I never lost my mind with the eating. I still do my small portions. Um, the only thing that I can say that is a, is a bad habit that I did pick back up is I, I do drink 7-Up Sprite ginger ale. Sue me. I do. Do I wait for it to get flat? Usually not anymore. I used to wait for it to get flat and then drink it. But when you got so much everything going on in your midsection, stomach always feeling like it's toe up, can't really eat, drinking that ginger ale, drinking that Sprite, drinking that 7-Up really has been my lifesaver. That's been the only thing between me and probably being laid out on the floor or throwing up. So it is what it is. After I have her, probably will back back off of it. But during this pregnancy, it has definitely helped. And that is the one vice I can definitely say I picked up. As far as carbs and eating out a lot, mm-mm, because my sleeve ain't having it. Um, so other than that, like, everything has really been copacetic. As far as working out, I still can't do a lot of working out, so I just walk a lot. Um, can't work out too much because, one, I don't want to, you know, overexert myself. And, two, I still am going through the situation with the shoulder. And so um, until that heals, that still really restricts what I can do physically or how much I can do, or how long I can do anything physically. But other than that, everything else is good. Um, I will try to give y'all a quick body shot. I promise y'all, I look much bigger than I am right now. Um, this dress is not super forgiving. I have no brassiere on, and I'm short, so I'ma look probably really round, but I'ma show y'all what the belly didn't look like. And remember I told you all in the last video that I had a B belly, which means that it's not you know perfectly round. It looks like the letter B with bump and then bump. So um, I'll let y'all see what that's about. <clears throat> if y'all see anything crazy in the background, please excuse my house. I'm doing a lot of stuff. Let's see. <sighs> Stay, don't fall. Okay, this is my belly now. And as I said, it's a B belly. You have that first part and then you still got this bottom fupa thing. This up here is my boobs. So this is, this is what the belly's looking like. And this is what the booty looking like. Hey, hey, I look like a beached whale, hot mess, whatever. So, yeah, that's that's what the belly looks like. So if the belly wasn't there, this is where everything used to be. This is where it is now. And it is what it is. So that's about it. Um, Yeah, so the next time I come to you guys with a video, I probably will be coming back as a mommy. So that's about it. Just wanted to do a quick update. Um, I definitely miss you guys. I definitely thank everybody for reaching out. Everybody I've talked to on the phone. Everyone who's texted me, emailed me, checked on me on Facebook. Um, thank you, everybody. Love you guys super much. Keep me in your prayers because I'm ready to do this thing. You feel me? All right. Bye-bye.